Hey everybody. Uh, so I had this video idea several months ago. It was going to be about how you should start on your New Year's resolutions now when it's the early December and you, how you should start planning them and fail them as fast as possible. And then I had these final papers for school and I said, you know what, I'm going to not do any anything aside from these papers uh, because I need to get these papers done. So. You know, hopefully, if I can figure out this light situation as I talk, hopefully while I work on these papers, you know, while I work on these papers, I'll be thinking, oh, when I finish them, I get to do everything else I want to do. Blender 3.0 came out. I can make some blends. I get to get back on the video grind, get this parkour and NYC video that I had been working on off the ground, get back to Japanese, get back to all these things once I finish those two papers. But then I still procrastinate those papers. I still push those papers off. And I'm not going to go into that. But the video had to evolve, had to adapt to this. I had to say, okay, not start your resolutions now. We'll talk about how you should fail your resolutions as fast as possible. And I just try to talk about uh, the concept of iteration. And I've been trying to edit that video for six days. And it's had about an hour of work on it. And another hour of work, I could probably do it. Long story short, I've been super down these last few days, especially. And just now, I sort of found the answer to it. And so I just want to make this video as, as a riff in a way, just something to get off my chest, a uh, theme of accountability on this channel to look back on, although I've written in my journal. This uh, last year, 2021, didn't feel like I had made any progress at all. And I have, right? There are certain things I, uh, you know, I graduated school. There are some other things that happened in my life that I'm not going to talk about. It's not like it's been a dead year, but I realized that I was watching this best of video and it, within the first two seconds of watching this video, I thought, that's why I feel crappy right now. I think that's the best answer I've been able to come up with for now. I'm moving. I've got all my, all my stuff pretty much packed up. I don't feel like I've made any progress. At the end of 2019, it was great. I lost a bunch of weight. I got some cool habits in. I have this productivity system that works. What happened in 2021? Well, 2020, I can tell you how it started. Uh, I focused on my classes and I did a good job, I think. And then it just kind of... 2021 comes around and I think... Oh yeah, okay. I had that semester of classes, but I didn't really do anything. Okay, you know. Minecraft, I guess, is, you know, I launched that game design thing, but that was so long ago. And is Seashell made? No, no, it's not. And the theme of New Year's resolutions, I think in that two seconds of seeing this video, having all this crap, just my head getting to me, to put it one way, I realized that I think I've been looking at resolutions all wrong. There's a scratch and sniff sticker that still smells horribly beauty, like banana but I'll put on my shirt because why not? It's not about, you know, you're not setting a goal to start at an arbitrary time. I don't, I don't think, you know, I'm going to stick to the view that resolution shouldn't be, I'll only do this at the start of the new year. If you've been working out, you know, the whole video I made was if you miss a day of working out, you just stop for a second, think, why did I miss it? Why did I skip that day? And then you just try again, fail, find why you fail, reflect on it and do it again. I'm going to view resolutions in a totally different way because I think they're not resolutions shouldn't be goals. What's so according to Google's quick Google searches, a goal is an object of ambition or the result of direct effort. Resolution, on the other hand, has two different definitions, which we can see on the side. It's the firm decision to do or not to do something, or it's the quality of being determined or resolute. And I guess your resolution can be a goal, but it Maybe we shouldn't be planning our resolutions. You know, our, our resolutions are labeled and then we just ask ourselves, am I doing something now that is in line with one of my resolutions, with one of these goals of the year? And the thing is, I never had any for 2021. I never made any resolutions because again, I was kind of like, it's just, it's just a goal. We'll just keep doing these consistent habits that I've been working on, right? And it's the same thing. The whole world has made this idea about every year we can look back and, you know, there's the best of and there's the worst of for everybody. And I don't feel like I have a best of, if that makes any sense. I definitely do. Again, there are good things that have happened. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm appreciative of, you know, I'm graduating with university. You know, that's amazing. I'm done. <laughs> like, whoa, a, a semester early too. I'm totally done. When it comes to my personal ambitions, I don't feel so complete. I talked about this in a video game therapy, which will be up, I guess, I don't know. I'll put it in the corner. That was about four or five days ago when I just didn't understand what was happening in my head. But now this, this feels better. What I'm going to do is write down all the possible resolutions I want. Do a little elimination, you know, is this actually possible? Because, you know, you do want that in a goal. You want to make sure it's possible. And make a poster out of it. Do something, it might cost money. Print a poster and put it somewhere. Because a resolution should not be... A goal, right, is, is just a direction. My goal is that I want to become fluent in Japanese. I'm not there yet. And I think that goal has a good direction, but... I have a lot of tools to work with that goal and I've got a plan and I've got time to sit down and I've tried that. But my resolution for the year should be become conversationally fluent in Japanese, period. Whether or not I hit that resolution, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that I get towards it. So becoming, you know, if I can talk at the level of a third grader or, um, have, you know, passed the N5 by the end of the year, I should already be there, but I'm not, which is not, not good. I definitely can be, could have been. And then, you know, there are a bunch of these goals. Grow this channel was a goal. I wanted to, I think, get to like 5,000 or 10,000 in 2021. I don't even know. That's the problem. That's a problem itself. I don't even know. Again, 2021 was good for reasons, but I look back and I think, well, I didn't set any resolutions. I don't have, I don't feel like I have a great best of. So the 2022 resolutions that I'm willing to share with the world would be conversational fluency in Japanese. You can follow my learning log. I've recorded today's, uh, or I've recorded Saturday's. Um, it's Friday. I'm going to upload this tonight. The learning log was recorded earlier, and you can kind of see how lost I am in that. Create Seashell. I still want to make this game. What did I even write? Hold on. So as for the concrete things I wrote in my journal, it was make, have a pr prototype of seashell by March 19th. That's funny. Uh, and it's unfortunate that I think that's funny. And getting to 200 words per minute. I guess I got to 190. So was that checked off? Sure. And again, other things that are personal, but I want to make seashell. It's been five years and I still want to make seashell. And, you know, as I've said to some people here and there, like if I still want to do something after a year, that's a, that's a good sign. My full-time job starts on Tuesday. And maybe I've been a little scared about that. Maybe I've been scared I won't have time for these things. But I, I will. It's remote. I won't have to commute. That's immediately some time there. Um, what's another resolution? Something... I don't want to say that one. 10,000 subscribers. That would be cool. That's not serious enough. I want... I, one of my resolutions goals was to make one video a week for the whole year. And I was, you know, it's January 7th and I haven't released, I guess I'll release this tonight. I'm happy to go through this tonight. This is, I feel like I believe in this video. The one that I have now, I don't feel like I believe in. I'm going to render it, save it, and have it as a good reminder. So, you know, there's three resolutions. This is create sea, uh, conversational fluency in Japanese, create seashell, and hit 10,000 subscribers this, this year, 2022. Which has been feeling really impossible lately, but I mean, I haven't uploaded in a month. Um, I have ideas to make videos better, and I've got plans already, so stay tuned. But anyway, that's it for this riff. It feels good to just talk things out sometimes, and yeah, I... This feels like the right answer. I've been really down for a, a long time. It really started end of November, I think, and... You know, sometimes you have the answer. You just need to find the right question. This is something I believed for. I thought, I thought about this idea in eighth grade. So seven or eight years ago. But sometimes you just got to kind of. This time I got lucky. This time I hit play on a YouTube video, which I've been watching way too much of lately. It's funny. I turn off recommendations and here we go. Sometimes you stumble across the right, the right question. All of a sudden, you know, I play this best of 2021 video and I'm thinking, 
I watched the 2020 version of this video and I remember how inspired I felt. And I did absolutely nothing with that. I wanted to make a best of Mark Bacon, but I don't think I could. A public best of Mark Bacon. Again, there are good things that have happened this year. You know, my life is not, I'm not trying to say it's bad, but it has not been nearly as forward moving as I wanted it to be, in the ways that I wanted it to be. So I'm just thinking back to these moments I had at the start of last year and I think, oh yeah, I did want this, I wanted that. But I lost those along the way somewhere and here I am still wanting them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write down some more resolutions and I'm gonna make a poster for myself. I'm gonna put it behind my, the wall of my desk. You know, if it's out of my head, it's, it's unavoidable, right? But I'm gonna make a poster with all of these resolutions on it and try and ask myself, I was just writing in my journal and I was like, okay, I have to look at these things and I gotta say, is what I'm doing right now serving, you know, one of these goals? Is watching an 11th YouTube video today helping me with fluency in Japanese? No. Is it making seashell? No. You know, I can talk for a lot more, but I think this riff is definitely okay. This video will serve as my resolution, I guess. So my principle about failing my resolutions as fast as possible, I might fail, I've already failed my stretching goal but I'll just try again. Your resolutions have to be something deep. I think that's it. A resolution is a goal, but a goal is not a resolution. So really dig in. Are your resolutions strong? Are they something that you are determined to accomplish? I kind of am asking myself, but this is the kind of video I guess I would want in a way. What would your, what do you want your best of to look like, right? I guess it's easier in some cases for people who live stream life, but yeah, that's it for this riff. Um, so thank you for watching. Love to hear any resolutions in the comments down below, of course. Um, I gotta think about this more, but yeah. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.